Hey everyone, so thanks to the new image of Pennywise the Clown for Stephen King's It reboot, which is coming out next year, it inspired me to watch the original Stephen King's It miniseries from 1990. Best year ever! So I'm going to discuss the new image of the new Pennywise, but first I'm going to do a review of the original 1990 miniseries. The original live action version was actually a miniseries, it was actually a two-part miniseries which aired on ABC on November 18th and 20th, which makes it even more awesome because it was just a few days after I was born. So it is based off of Stephen King's novel of the same name. And what essentially this story is, is that a bunch of kids in Derry, Maine in 1950s-ish, I don't know if it's 50 exactly, um, but they begin to like be killed. And one little boy actually goes out and he loses his boat in a storm drain where Pennywise the clown is. Now Pennywise is actually an interdimensional parademon or something like that, so he can change his form, but the main form he takes to attract kids is to be a clown. So Pennywise kills George, the little boy, and his older brother Bill takes a lot of the blame for this because he was like sick that day or something and didn't go out with his brother. Anyway, um, so Bill uh, starts to be tormented as well by Pennywise, and so do several other children in the town. They sort of become friends through this sort of interaction. A couple are friends already, but they form what's called the Losers Club. They eventually go after Pennywise and seemingly kill him. Then they vow that pretty much if Pennywise ever comes back, they'll come back to Derry and take care of it. And of course Pennywise comes back, he starts killing children again, and then when the uh, adults return back to Derry, a lot of their memories sort of flood back to them from their childhood that they lost before. So now they're also being tormented by Pennywise as adults. They pretty much have to deal with this situation and basically get rid of him, uh, which they pretty much do, spoiler alert. Now I did not read the original Stephen King novel, but it has come highly recommended to me by a couple of people. So I do plan on reading it most likely before I see the 2017 version, but that's just going to come when the time comes. I will eventually read it. But some things that I did like involved the story. More specifically about the story, I'm, I like the Losers Club. They very much reminded me of like a Goonies type of group. Looks like these, this hodgepodge of kids who sort of come together. You don't really know how or why they get along so well, but they just do. They seem to understand each other on a level that probably no one else does. Another big positive for me revolving around story is the element of longevity. I liked how the story sort of had to do with 1950s and then the, as the adults grow up and they have to come back to Derry in the 1980s, I liked that whole arc. It felt like a very full arc. This whole tragedy happened to them as kids. They took care of it. It's happened again 30 years later. They come back. They have to deal with it again. Uh, but they're in a little bit different circumstances. They've grown up. They sort of evolved as people, as people do. And I like how they sort of carried that emotional weight with them from when they were kids and also from their experiences outside in the real world. I also like the weird, creepy being that was Pennywise slash It. It was very creepy, especially for 1990s. I definitely saw a lot of parallels. I'm not sure when the story was written originally, but I saw a lot of parallels to other famous horror characters, such as Michael Myers and Freddy Krueger. There are a lot of similar visuals in this miniseries. I don't know if the directors took influence from that necessarily, but you kind of got the same instances, like when Pennywise in the beginning is standing behind like these sheets and it's blowing in the wind and you see him and then he disappears when the sheet goes away. Same kind of sort of concept with Pennywise only being seen by certain people. Same kind of concept goes with Freddy Krueger. Because you see him in your dreams, you also can see him in reality, sort of reality, as long as you're asleep wherever you are and interact with him and he can change form. Stuff like that. So I got a lot of those influences from classic horror characters. I don't know if it was influenced by it or vice versa. But it definitely added a lot of weight to the character and a lot of different things that I like about classic horror characters into this film. But I have to say a lot of these positives are thanks to the original source material from Stephen King's novel. Now on that note, let's get to the bad of this miniseries. The bad of this miniseries often has to deal with the fact that it was a miniseries. 
a lot of Stephen King's stuff is pretty gory or at least pretty bloody in some sense. There is blood in the miniseries, but it's TV blood. It's not very uh, expressive or there's definitely not very much of it. And it's kind of weird when we get introduced to it because, well, at least seeing the blood because people interact with it, but only the kids can see it. But that's never really explained to you. You're just sort of like, why are these people interacting with blood and they don't see it? What is it you think you saw? I feel like a lot of the core of the story and the visuals were taken out in order to be more appealing to a national television audience. So hopefully the 2017 version will up the ante a bit since it will be a movie instead of a miniseries, and it will most likely have a rated R as opposed to something that's more acceptable for television. Another big issue that I had with this series was that it's also related to it being a series was that it was on television, so the acting was terrible. Now, a lot of the actors did pretty bad. The best actor by far was Tim Curry, who did Pennywise slash It. He, hands down, was the best performance of the entire miniseries. Aren't you going to say hello? But the worst of the miniseries has to go to the character of Bill, which was portrayed by Jonathan Bandis and Richard Thomas. Both of these individuals overdid the character of Bill like excessively. I understand that he's supposed to be like a stuttering, have a stutter speech impediment sort of thing when he was younger. It comes back with sort of when it comes back more or less. Um, I understand that he lost his brother when he was younger. Pretty much he went through a pretty traumatic life, especially when he was younger in Derry. But these individuals way overdid their acting. You killed my brother George, you bastard! <laughs> my mom gave, gave me that to say to... to to help with with my st stutter. And it just didn't really work, especially since he was the main leader of the Losers Club. The grade I'm going to give the 1990 miniseries of Stephen King's It is a D+. It is quite a low grade, but there's really not a whole lot of redeeming qualities about this miniseries, with the exception to Tim Curry's performance, the makeup of Pennywise slash It, and being based on Stephen King's source material, there's really not a whole lot of positives about this series. It definitely doesn't hold up visually as well compared to a lot of other classic horror movies such as uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, although some of that stuff does look pretty bad today. But like even like Halloween, like that stuff pretty much holds up today as much as it did in the 70s and when it was originally made. So this one being made in 1990, just didn't quite make the cut for me, and I hope the 2017 version vastly improves on the story. Now let's talk about the upcoming version of It starring Bill Skarsgård as Pennywise. Now I'm a huge fan of Bill Skarsgård, so I'm really rooting for him and this movie to be really, really good. First, let's take a quick look at what Skarsgård will look like as the reimagined version of Pennywise. That's the stuff of nightmares. It looks amazing in my opinion, and much scarier and creepier than the 1990 Tim Curry version. Now, I do have to give it the benefit of the doubt. I like the fact that they're changing some stuff about the story, trying to make it a little bit more modern, because in the original version, the kids grew up in 1950s, and they come back to Derry in the 1980s. Now, in the reimagined or rebooted version, uh, the kids are going to be growing up, are going to be in Derry in the 1980s and coming back present day. Now, I think that's going to change some things a little bit, so the reimagining of Pennywise kind of fits the dynamic. So with small, minute details, such as like the costume changing or maybe even a little bit of the makeup, maybe making it less kid-friendly, per se, as like the TV version did, uh, a lot of people seem to like the TV version versus the newer version. Um, I think the newer one looks creepier, but I think that the appeal of the older one was that it drew kids in easier. So i kind of on the fence about that aspect. Hopefully they'll be able to up that a little bit more in the movie version versus the TV version and better explain that dynamic. Either way, I am very excited to see the new reboot coming out September 8th of next year. But in all honesty, I think one of the coolest things that they maybe sort of missed out on and maybe rushed it a little bit, is that the original story of It, at least portrayed in the miniseries, is that It comes back every 30 years. 
Now, if they had followed suit and aimed for more of a November of 2020 release date, which would have been the 30th year anniversary of the original TV series, then Pennywise slash It would be coming back 30 years later. I think that would have been a cool little nod to the story, as well as to the overall feeling of the film. I mean, how cool is it that it would come out near an anniversary and the 30th anniversary, which is when Pennywise's feeding cycle sort of occurs. I think that was kind of a missed opportunity. Maybe they just wanted to rush it and get it out again. I'm not entirely sure, but I think that would have been something really, really cool that the production companies, whoever is dealing with this movie, could have done. So are you thinking about going to see the new version of Stephen King's It when it comes out next year? What do you think about the old one? What do you think Pennywise is compared to the old version to the new version? Which one do you think is creepier and scarier? Let me know down in the comment section below. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and like always, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos, and I'll see you in the next one.